sports fans. Time to quench that golf thirst on the bone-dry fairways of Diablo Canyon, where it's so freaking hot, the cactus wears sunblock, the rocks hide under scorpions, and you can fry a golf ball on the hood of your cart, although I wouldn't recommend it. So, just be sure to drink plenty of water and leave the contact information for your next of kin at the starter's window. Born with a silver spoon in her mouth and a platinum cord in her hand, Trixie is the snootiest golfer to ever lift a golf club. This snob of the fairways has the dubious distinction of being the only person in history to have never uttered the words thank you, retail, or styrofoam. Schlepping Trixie's clubs and nagging her to death is her hard drinking Prozac poppin' mom, Bunny. Hailing from the mean streets of Queens, Donna don't take no crap from no one. This disco golfing diva has been swinging clubs since she was 10. Then she discovered you could also hit golf balls with them. When Donna's got a groove on, she can smoke your ass in a New York minute. Lugging Donna's clubs is her linguini slurping boyfriend, caddy, and made man wannabe, Vinny. Adored by gorgeous women and androgynous men from around the world, El Suave believes in sharing his magnificent good looks with all who can show a certified blood test. Suave feels inner beauty is more important than outer beauty, so long as the outer beauty is still pretty hot. Lugging clubs for this south of the border stud is Tijuana's very own missing link, Mr. Man Boob himself, El Ramon. Whether it's with a golf club or a file down toothbrush, Killer Miller enjoys nothing more than carving up the competition. When he's not busy touring the country's top penitentiaries, he loves teeing off on golf balls and unsuspecting country club members. So lock your doors and call the cops, cause golf just got a lot more lethal. Caddying today for Killer is his state-appointed caddy, Officer Shankman. Welcome to the ninth. This is a 402-yard par four. I know that because it's written on this piece of paper. I like this hole a lot because it has a beautiful waterfall next to it. Isn't that water pretty coming down like that? You know, suddenly I have to pee really, really bad. So I hope you like this hole and you play really well. Okay, see, I gotta go. As I look through the scope of my high-powered rifle, the first target, uh, I mean golfer to tee off is, Trixie. Damn, that ball was hit so hard, it should press assault charges. If you have low self-esteem, this should help. Teeing off second is, Donna. Damn, that ball's covering some serious ground. Walking softly, carrying a big club is El Suave. Man, that ball traveled so far, someone's gonna have to FedEx it back to us. The final golfer in this motley foursome is Killer Miller. Okay, second shot, too early to panic. Now that's a lucky freaking break. Second shot. Second shot.
second shot. Nice! That's gonna leave a mark. Start manning the suicide hotlines. We've got a live one. Third shot. Nice. Somebody send over the cocktail waitress. I want to start celebrating immediately. Third shot. You know, the law of averages says this could be a good one. But then again, it could suck. That's the thing with averages. What do I know? What am I, a, a math teacher? <laughs> to nail this one for poor. One word, nice punt. Okay, so I failed math. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Stay in school. El Suave has this putt for a birdie or execution by firing squad. <laughs> How's that for motivation? Now that's what I call a stroke of genius. <laughs> Get it? Oh, El Suave, let's see how long we can twirl without letting go. Whee! Whee! Oh! Roughly six seconds. School must be in session, because that was some textbook putting. Killer Miller is eyeing this putt for a shot at birdie and all its glory. Houston, I think we have a golfer. Yeah! A birdie! And now for my next trick, I'm gonna teach everyone how to smuggle contraband into prison. Who's got Vaseline? This is the eighth! I hope you packed a lunch, cause this 512 yard par 5 could take some time. Also, I am extremely hungry. I have been fasting to cleanse my body of impurities. Unfortunately, the bad rash I got after my visit to an intriguing massage parlor has yet to clear up. I need ointment. El Suave is about to whack it. Damn, I've never seen anything smack that hard without first having to pay for it. Say goodbye to that ball. Gone, gone, gone. Trixie is set to go. Nice contact on that one. Now that's a lucky freaking break. Yeah! 
Wow, that ball traveled faster than a speeding bullet. And trust me, I get shot at all the time. Second shot. Second shot. All right, second shot. Second shot. Nice shot. Boy, that shot was a lot like marriage. It started off so, so good, and then went so terribly wrong. Third shot. Third shot. Third shot. That'll do. Third shot. It takes really soft hands to hit like that. Woohoo! Fruity. <laughs> Make a birdie. Now that's a nice putt, golf fans. Trixie is attempting for a birdie. No pressure. Hit it already! Nice contact on that one. I think I'm about to cry. No, it's just gas. That. El Suave is preparing for a tasty birdie. Nicely done! Behold the beauty, jazz, greatness, ooh, a tight ass, uh-huh, and some excellent footwork. I come fully loaded with a five-year or 50,000 female warranty. Killer Miller is tapping to seek a birdie. Nice putt, and that's all that matters. Woo! How'd you like that damn birdie, huh, partner? Am I good or what? <laughs> hey! Damn union breaks. Check out the seven. This 213-yard par 3 was formerly a nuclear test site. So if you see lizards with three eyes and snakes with five tongues, don't be alarmed. Just keep your head in the game before you grow a second one. Damn! 
Someone laid out some highway spikes. Talk about a lucky break. That's almost like tongue kissing a frog and getting a hot stripper. Or at least two twins. You know, well, actually, it's nothing like that at all. That ball is really moving. Is there a urologist in the house? I guess they work with fast-moving balls. I don't, who writes this? Good shot. Now that's the way to take one for the team. Who says golf isn't a contact sport? Second shot, concentrate. for a shot at birdie. Nice stroke, nice putt, nice job. Yes, the smell of victory, the smell of roses, yet nothing compares to the smell of my hideous B.O. Intoxicating. All right, second shot. to drop this one in for par. Now that's what I call a stroke of genius. <laughs> Get it? Killer Miller is lining up to sink a birdie. Now that's a nice putt, golf fans. Sweet! A birdie! Oh god, there's a bee on my leg! Shanks, get it all off me! Son of a... you broke my leg! Yeah, and I would have swung harder if it wasn't for this damn tennis elbow. yard par four could use some fertilizer. This land is more barren than my second wife. Fortunately, I brought a ton of manure with me. On account of I haven't emptied my Winnie septic tank in five months. El Suave is about to launch it off the tee in 10, 9, 8, Wow, someone just went medieval on that ball. Somebody's been working out. Trixie is pumped and ready to play. Oh my God, what a shot! Oh my God, I'm overreacting. We have a new driving record, folks. Damn it, I wish I woke the kids.
Okay, second shot. Too early to panic. Oh my! That ball should be tried for treason. Take it away. Second shot. Whoop-de-doo, we're on the green. Second shot. Second shot. Nice contact on that one. Third shot. Killer Miller is smacking the sick of birdie. Here's a gimme, and don't say I never did anything for you. El Suave is concentrating to try for poor, and since I'm a pessimist, head straight for bogeyland. Now that's an attractive putt. Although it's what's on the inside that really matters. Ah, close enough. We'll give you that one. Nice stroke, nice putt, nice job. Trixie has an opportunity for a shot at birdie and all its glory. One word, nice putt. Okay, so I failed math. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Stay in school. Mother, we think so much alike. The only difference is you don't hate you. play it safe and avoid hitting that giant arch thingy on this 216 yard par 3, we should be home in time to watch the OC. God, I love reality television. Cheers, darling. L'chaim, Mom. What did you say? L'chaim, it means to life in Hebrew. Hebrew? Isn't our pool boy a Hebrew? He's Mexican. Potato, potato. Oh my! That ball should be tried for treason! Take it away! Killer Miller is about to take a crack at it.
like a deacon at a Boy Scout convention. Talk about an uncomfortable lie. Second shot. Second shot. Second shot. Concentrate. What's not to like about that shot? If only you could take it home and dim the lights, put on some Barry White. Oh. Okay, second shot. Too early to panic. Welcome to the zone. I can only guess this must be what it feels like to have sex with a really thin chick. To putt for par. School must be in session because that was some textbook putting. Putt for par. Nicely done. El Suave is hoping to make par. Houston, I think we have a golfer. Nice putt, and that's all that matters. Behold, the fourth! This 297-yard par-4 plays in the shadows of the towering rock mesas of Arizona. Much like El Suave himself, these magnificent edifices are massive and quite beautiful. But unlike these natural formations, climbing El Suave is by invitation only. Break out the straight jacket, cause that's an insane shot. No one should complain about that shot. That's my job. Yeah. What a rip! <laughs> hey, that makes two of us. <laughs> Good shot. What should I do? Write you a song? Get over it. Second shot. Yeah! 
Second shot. Second shot. Boom! Set a course for the Viridian system. Maximum warp. Come on. You knew we'd get to a Star Trek joke sometime. Second shot. Killer Miller is preparing to putt downhill to sink a birdie. Now that's what I call a stroke of genius. <laughs> Get it? Shots like that require serious concentration. All that time in solitary is finally paying off. Donna is tapping for a birdie or execution by firing squad. <laughs> How's that for motivation? Nicely done. Yeah, that's how you do it. Now he is a hazard I bet you fellas wouldn't mind getting trapped in. El Suave has an opportunity for a birdie. No pressure. Hit it already! Nice putt, and that's all that matters. And now, 18th century dancing. I am Lady Ramoni Baker's daughter. And I am Lord Suave, Land Baron. Don Aldo Trumpo, eat my shorts. Trixie has this putt to make a birdie. Houston, I think we have a golfer. Yeah, let's all clap for me. Aren't I good? I sure hope one under par isn't considered a discount, because I don't do discounts. Hey, it's the third. For the first time ever, I'm going to say I'm hot and not mean awesome looking. What I wouldn't give for some electrolytes right now. Anyway, this 572 yard par five has an obnoxious break in the fairway right here. If your ball's lucky enough to land on the other side, good luck finding the green, cause it's hiding at the bottom of a hill right here. This concludes your tour. Please tip your guide. in the house because that ball's gonna need some reconstructive surgery and believe me I've used that line before Donna is about to drive it off the tee I can practically taste the excitement or maybe I just need new gum sweet maybe good golf isn't so hard after all
second shot. Well done. Just the way I like my steaks. <laughs> second shot. Well, so much for being in the zone. That shot left skid marks. Second shot. Time to pat somebody on the back. And while you're at it, I'll take a hot old body rub. All right, second shot. I can't say enough about that shot, nor do I want to. Here we go. Third shot. Anything is still possible. Yeah. What goes up must come down, and down it comes perfectly on the green. Third shot. Nice! That ball is seeing more green than the inside of P. Diddy's wallet. Or whatever he calls himself. Third shot. That ball is cruising. Third shot. Now that was all touch. Forget 12-step groups. You're doing just fine on your own. This green is going to break just a hair to the right, which is fun to say when you're bald. Everyone having a good laugh? That putt has just set a record, and records are meant to be broken, so don't get cocky. I'm so excited I could hug you all! You get tongue. <laughs> Hate to interrupt, but there's a call for you in the clubhouse. Dr. Kepler says your implants have been recalled. Hurry along, dear. She falls for that every time. El Suave is hoping for a birdie or execution by firing squad. <laughs> How's that for motivation? Nice stroke, nice putt, nice job. Nice putt, and that's all that matters. Let's just drop that in and call it a hole. Donna is smacking for a birdie. No pressure. Hit it already! School must be in session because that was some textbook putting.
Ben's the second. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Actually, I am, but that's a long story. Anyway, this 446-yard par four is more trouble than an angry hornet's nest. Believe me, I know, cause one time I was hunting a group of city folk for sport, and this girl had the nerve to throw one at me. I done got stung like 200 times. That's what we call hillbilly acupuncture. Is there a doctor in the house? Cause that ball's gonna need some reconstructive surgery. And believe me, I've used that line before. Donna is preparing to smack the bejesus out of the ball. I know someone who's channeling their repressed familial dysfunction in a positive direction. That'll work. Second shot, concentrate. Boy, that shot was a lot like marriage. It started off so, so good, and then went so terribly wrong. Second shot. Second shot. Second shot. You enjoyed it because you just got voted out of the zone. Third shot. Not only did that putt set a record, it's also a great role model for the kids. Third shot. to sink a birdie. Now that's a nice putt, golf fans. Come on, sinking that birdie was no piece of cake. I want to hear some appreciation. Would it kill you, huh? One nice word. One. Would it kill you? Make a birdie.
One word. Nice punch. Okay, so I failed math. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Stay in school. We're here at the first. This hall is 440 yards of tranquil desert scenery. Or if I have anything to do with it, the future site of a totally bitchin' mall. So hurry up and tee off on this par four, cause the bulldozers are coming in a half an hour. Isn't it great to be rich and powerful? Oh, never mind, you wouldn't know. Next. Mm-hmm, uh-huh, get yeah, right there. Okay, thanks, we'll be in touch. Ah, oh, yes, there's nothing more empowering than auditioning the help. Nice shot! Not bad. Chicks dig the long ball. Mm -hmm. That ball's a beaut. Second shot. That ball is a blur. Or maybe the brownies just kicked in. That shot really sucked big time. And I mean that in the most encouraging way possible. Second shot. Amazing what a little dumb luck will do for your shot. All right, second shot. I know one golfer who should stay away from lottery tickets. Second shot, concentrate. That's a good looking ball. I'm strangely attracted to it. Third shot. Third shot. Way to go. Time to break out the putter. For a tasty birdie. Nicely done! I'm rich, successful, and I don't have to work for a living! Should I get my own reality show? Or just run for the Senate? Donna is attempting for a shot at birdie. If I was as good as that putt, I never would have done time. 
Killer Miller is lining up to sink one for par. School must be in session because that was some textbook putting. Hey, did someone order a gimme? Here you go. to drop a par in the bottom of the cup. Now that's what I call a stroke of genius. <laughs> Get it? Game's over, folks. Put your tray tables in the upright position, because the winner is Trixie! Yeah, 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 yeah! Time to roll the credits on this game, because it's over. By the way, what the hell's a lead modeler? <laughs>